Welcome to BSc Statistics students. In this class, I explain the definition of two cube factorial experiment. So, this is the one such design having eight treatment combinations. You see, the two cube factorial experiment means three represents three factors. Two, two represents two levels. So, that is three factors let us consider a b and c each at two levels that is a is at two levels a1 a2 b at two levels b1 b2 c at two levels again c1 c2 respectively so that there are two cube is equal to eight treatment combinations there are eight treatment combinations we see the treatment combinations here which was specified very clearly the first level of each factor A, B and C are represented by absence of the corresponding letter in the treatment combinations. The first level is always represented in the treatment combination as an absence. For example, A is at first level, A will not be there. B is at first level, B will not be there. Like that. This is as usual, we have specified in two square factorial experimental design. Right? The second level of each of the corresponding factors are denoted by A, B and C. The second levels are represented by A, B and C. So therefore, the eight treatment combinations now is going to be expressed as 1, A, B, A, B. And then you see the order 1, A, B. And then A, B. That is uh, interaction effect, A, B. And uh, C. C is going to be started here and then AC and then BC and then ABC, last one. Second order interaction effects, that is ABC. So therefore, what is one? All at first level, that is A1, B1, C1. A is at first level, B is also first level, C is also at first level. A, A is equal to second one, A is equal to, A is at second level, which is present, which means at second level, A. So a, a is second level, A2 and uh, B, C, first level, B1, C1. Next, B. B is at second level, B2, A1, C1. E, next, A, B. Both A, B at second level, A2, B2. And remaining C, first level, C1. C, C means C only at second level, C2. A and B, first level, A1, B1. So, A1, B1, C2. A, C. A and C are at first, second level, sorry, second level, A2, C2 and B at first level, B1, B is absent here. So, A2, B1, C2. And BC, BC means uh, BC are at second level, B, B2, C2 and A is at first level, A1, B2, C2, therefore BC is equal to. And A, B, C, that is all are at, uh, all A, B, C are at uh, second level, A2, B2, C2. This is what you have to understand. So, if you understand this, you can easily interpret remaining. So, remaining is uh, the only the some some kind of uh, uh, and which design is going to be used, etc. Explain here. The two cube factorial experiment is analyzed statistically by using analysis of variance technique, ANOVA, uh, which is very similar to either CRD or RVD or LSD. Usually, we mostly we used we use uh, RBD, randomized block design, to perform, it can be performed, as you see here, RBD with R replicates, consists of 8 treatments, okay, and uh, the treatment, uh, uh, sum of the squares, is going to be split in with uh, 7 degrees of freedom, into 7 orthogonal contrasts, corresponding to the 3 main effects, A, B, C, 3 first order, and two, um, uh, two uh, the first order two factor interactions A B A C B C and one second order three factor interaction A B C which, which is carrying one degree of freedom. Main effect A B C, first order interactions A B A C B C, second order interaction A B C, all carries and seven these are seven seven carries with one degree of freedom each. So this is what uh, you have to understand in the two cube factorial experiment. This is the definition of 2 cube factorial experiment. Thank you.